Hi, my name is Muhammad Ahmed Mutwalli, and today, inshallah, we're going to take the second skill of TOEFL structures. Be careful of object of prepositions. An object of preposition is a noun, pronoun, gerund, or noun clause that comes after prepositions such as in, at, of, to, by, behind, or, and so on. To form a prepositional phrase like this, after his exam, which being bracketed, it's a prepositional phrase, Tom will take a trip by boat. I have two prepositional phrases here, after his exam, by boat. This sentence concerns two objects of prepositions. Exam is the object of the preposition after, here is after, and exam. And boat is the object of the preposition by. An object of the preposition can cause confusion in a structure questions on the TOEFL test because it can be mistaken for the subject of a sentence. As you can see, you may mistake after his exam as a subject, which is not, cannot be a subject. So, this example can show it more. You have here, with his friends, blank found the movie theater. With his friend, this sentence starts with a preposition, so take care, this is an object of the preposition, doesn't work as subject. So I need subject, because I have the verb found. Has is a verb, doesn't work. He found the movie theater is a subject, that's good, but let's see. Letter doesn't work as subject, and when doesn't work as subject. So the only, and the best answer here is B. So, with his exam, or I'm sorry, with his friend, he found the movie theater. That's perfect. So, let's go to the second example. No second example, but here we have a note that says, Object of prepositions. A preposition is followed by a noun, pronoun, gerund, noun, clause, that is called an object of the preposition. The most important thing is, if a word is an object of the preposition, it is not the subject. Take care of this. It is not the subject if it's the object of a preposition. So, let's take exercise two for more examples. It says here, each of the following sentences contains one or more prepositional phrases. Underline the subject once, as normal, and the verb twice. Circle the prepositional phrase that comes before the verb. Then indicate if the, sentence, if the sentences are correct C or incorrect I. As you can see, always one and two are done, so we'll go three directly to three. Three says, at the neighborhood flower. Shop. I'm sorry, in the neighborhood flower shop, as you see, at preposition. So this is a prepositional phrase. Great. Flowers in quantities of dozens or half dozens can be delivered for free. I have here comma then flowers. Flowers is a noun, a noun here, so followed by in quantities. That's a prepositional phrase. Of dozen, another prepositional phrase. Or half dozen. So that is the subject, flower. Can be delivered is the verb for free, another prepositional phrase. Okay, four. So this sentence, I'm sorry, three is correct. Four, the progressive reading methods. All this is the subject, at preposition. This is cool. Prepositional phrase works as uh, object of the preposition. Are given the verb. Credit, object. For the improved test scores, for is a preposition, so that's another prepositional phrase. We can circle them all, so another correct sentence. Five. For the last three years, oh, starts with four, preposition, so this is a prepositional phrase. At another preposition, various hospitals, prepositional phrase. In the country, and as a preposition, and the country's object of the preposition, so this is a prepositional phrase, has been practicing medicine. Has been practicing is the verb, of course, being present perfect progressive, as you know, medicine. So this sentence is also correct. Uh, I'm sorry there is a problem in five. I've made a mistake in five. Uh, yes, everything I said is right, but the sentence is incorrect because I have, as you can see here, uh, the sentence after that is incorrect because various hospitals, 
the subject here is plural and the verb here is singular so so it should be various hospitals have or a hospital has so the sentence is incorrect six in the past preposition object of preposition prepositional phrase a career in politics this is subject singular subject of course wasn't considered verb acceptable in some circles that's another prepositional phrase and object of the preposition so this sentence is correct seven shopping in the downtown area shopping in the downtown area subject of course it has also prepositional phrase of the city another prepositional phrase it has improved has improved is the verb here present perfect but what is it extra subject a lot in recent years a prepositional phrase so this one shopping in the downtown area of the city uh, it has improved a lot in the recent year is incorrect because it has extra subject which is it eight at the building site oh preposition so prepositional phrase the carpenters subject with the most experience so the most with the most experience is a prepositional phrase that starts with the preposition with where given where given is the verb passive of course the most intricate work the most intricate work is another object of the for the verb where given so this sentence is correct nine for the fever so as you see here for is a preposition for the fever and headache these are prepositional phrase doesn't work a subject took verb to aspirin tablets okay took is a verb where is the subject as you can see no subject so the sentence is incorrect it's missing subject 10 the report with complete documentations was delivered at the conference okay the robot the robot here is the subject with complete documentations prepositional phrases starts with the preposition with was delivered is the verb at the conference another prepositional phrase starting with the preposition at and the sentence here is correct so that's done now for the second skills inshallah meet you next time with skill three see you soon goodbye